Hi, sweetie pie. One more poem for right now from this book, Celebrate, Days to Celebrate. This one is March 17th. Well, it's not the name of the poem, it's just the background. Um, it's about, uh, March 17th is St. Patrick's Day, and here's a little bit about Patrick, the patron saint of Ireland, who was actually not Irish. He was born about 385 AD, somewhere in Western England. St. Patrick's Day commemorates his death on March 17th. The year is uncertain. Estimates range from 461 to 464. The first St. Patrick's Day celebration was held in the United States in Boston. Ouch. Munchy stop. Uh, was held in Boston, Massachusetts in 1737. For centuries, the shamrock, the small green three-leaved plant resembling clover, has been an emblem of Ireland. Folklore tells us that when St. Patrick drove the snakes out of Ireland, he stood in the shamrock patch. Part of an old Irish song gives St. Patrick credit for bringing the plant to Ireland. I don't know the uh, Latin name for the shamrock, but there's a similar little plant here that um, is small and has lobed leaves like that. I don't know if it's three or four, but it's called Oxalis. And I was playing Scrabble once, and you get a lot of extra points if you use hard letters like an X. And I think I was on a triple word score for that one. And I was playing your Grandpa Tom, and he thought I was making up that word, but I know my plants. So I said, look it up. And sure enough, there it was in the dictionary. He usually beat me in Scrabble, I have to admit. I mean, I'm quite good at the game, but he still beat me nearly every time, but not that time, thanks to Oxalis. But one day we'll look up and see what the Latin name for Shamrock is and if it's in the same family. Here's the poem. There's a dear little plant that grows in our aisle. T'was St. Patrick himself, sure that said it. And the sun on his labor with pleasure did smile, and with dew from his eyes, up from his eye, oft times wet it. It grows through the bog, through the brake, through the mireland, and he called it the dear little shamrock of Ireland. I'll read that again because I stumbled a bit, and after this I'm going to look up what brake means, B-R-A-K-E, because I don't know that word in this context. Um, and I don't exactly even know what Meyer land is, M-I-R-E-L-A-N-D, but we'll look it up afterwards. But first, rather than it make you wait while I do that, I'll read it again. There's a dear little plant that grows in our aisle, t'was St. Patrick himself, sure that said it. And the sun on his labor with pleasure did smile, and with dew from his eye oft times wet it. It grows through the bog, through the break, through the mireland, and he called it the dear little shamrock of Ireland. And here is a picture that accompanies that poem in this book. And I'm going to read a few short poems. Uh, March 17th is St. Patrick's Day. It's also the day around here that we can plant potatoes and peas which are often associated with Ireland. Um, and those are cool weather plants. And if you get the round ready and it's not too wet, you can plant them that early. In fact, last year we had those warm days around March 1st, and I planted potatoes and peas March 1st. And I planted a lot of greens, and they were the best, most beautiful cabbage and kale and collards and arugula and greens I ever grew. I have never grown them that well, so I'm going to get my ground ready so that when it warms up in March, they'll go in the ground. So a few days after St. Patrick's Day is actually the first day of spring, which is March 21st, and here's a short little poem about spring, but here's a cute little drawing. There's the two with flowers and different things, and the one of 21 is rain or water pouring. 
It's a very short poem, but they can be quite fun. Spring by Prince Red Cloud. How pleasing not to be freezing. That's the poem. That's the whole poem. I'm going to read it again. How pleasing not to be freezing. Indeed. And everybody's feeling that today, January uh, 14th, because we're getting rain, but it was predicted to be freezing rain and ice, and it looks like it's going to stay just rain. And so a lot of people today would say the same thing. How pleasing not to be freezing. Okay, I think I'll keep this short and just do short bursts of it. So I love you to bit, sweetie. I hope you're having a splendid day, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.